Okay, so I was wrong about the gel holder just a little bit. It worked really well. When I tried to put it on maximum, we got a little bit of a, uh, a melt happening. So at the 300D Mark II maximum, if you put a flat piece of gel right against it, turns out uh, everybody's right, it'll melt. So I need to create a cone so that the heat will be a little further away from the, or the, the gel will be a little further away from the heat coming from the diode. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a cone and we're gonna fix it to this real quick. And this is gonna be my update to the uh, toilet flange spacer PVC video. So let's just use a regular stapler. We use my girlfriend's very professional pink stapler here. Nothing unprofessional about being pink. I'm just saying it's not a professional stapler. Okay. Fold this here. This is also old gel, like 30 year old gel probably. Because of the way that the lantern is, we always want this, where the two bars are going through, we want that to be perpendicular to where this is going to be. We're gonna make some room in the middle of these long sides here so that we can run the rods through. What's up, girl? Okay. Okay. Making a gel holder. And there you go. Now we have a cone that should, in theory, not melt. I'm gonna go inside, when I go back inside, I'm gonna put some more clips on, on the corners here. But that should be a cone that won't have direct heat from the diode. Let's see how it works. Man, this is way more work than buying a 300C, I'm just saying. But is it more work than earning $500 to buy a 300C? I don't know. There we go, now we've got a light. Pretty well balanced still. Now let's turn it all the way up and see if it melts. It melted almost immediately last time, it was ridiculous. I don't see any blue popping out. Doesn't look like it's melting. Doesn't look like it's changing at all. Okay. So that's at maximum brightness with the holder there. You can kind of see a little line where the gel is, but I don't know, it looks pretty good. All right, let's turn it back down. Probably use my Cytos Link app. And there you go, tungsten balanced. Uh, heat resistant because of the cone um, should be should be a lot better now <laughs> we'll see i'll report back if it's uh if it's totally trash for any other reason hope this helped